Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Atlas. My name is Carla, and I'll be your storyteller today. Before we get started, though, I'd like to ask that you please remain seated the whole time. Please keep your hands, arms, feet, and any other body parts you have inside the boat. If you have any food or drinks, I ask that you please refrain from eating or drinking during the ride, and I hope you all enjoy. Sweetheart, can I have you on your crisscross? You can sit up there. Just sit on the right side. There you go. Well, that's swallow well Pinocchio. But don't worry, it's okay because when Pinocchio was inside, he made a fire that built up so much smoke that Monstro sneezed his tail right off. So now he's half the whale he used to be, and we have our beautiful entry into Storybook Land. Coming around the bend on the left hand side will be the campgrounds with the big bad wolf. He's always huffing and puffing, trying to cross the canal to catch those three little pigs. Each in their own little home. One made a strong, one made a six, and one made a 100% all first brick. As we pass the bridge on our left hand side, it'll be the town where Alice lives. She spends most of her days gazing and dreaming under the sun and trees, but sometimes she makes it down her cobblestone path where she meets Mr. White Rabbit, and they take a very important date for which they're always late to a very merry and birthday off in Wonderland. Here in the middle of the canal is London Park. So this is where Wendy, Michael, and John met Peter Pan and Tinkerbell, and with the help of some pixie dust and a few happy stops, they flew off into Neverland. And now straight ahead is the great city of Agamemnon. This is where a lot of Edaboo dogs be staying one step ahead of the guards and they want to get caught by Jafar. But now they reside in the back palace overlooking the marketplace with the beautiful and enchanting Princess Jasmine and her pet tiger Raja. Well, look at here, folks. Looks like we rounded up some of those wild animals. They're going to go before us jump on the circus. Let's see how well trained they really are. Say hello, wild animals. Hi. Look at they do wave back. And now we're passing under the rose arches. These rose arches are where Aladdin and Jasmine came together on their magic carpet and took a ride into a whole new world. But now I'm in a whole new world with you. Aww. Now please keep your hands aside. Do not touch any of our precious or jewels as you pass through the Cave of Wonders or we'll be swallowed in forever. This cave has the most enchanting treasure of all, the Magic Lamp. Just beyond the enchanted forest on our right hand side will be the cottage of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. If you listen carefully enough, you just might hear them whistle while they work as they dig, 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 and hi ho their day away. On the left hand side is the Chateau Cinderella where she once lived with her stepmom and stepsisters, but now she resides at the top of the hill in her beautiful pink Google castle, Prince Charming. Just down the way on the stone bridge is the pumpkin that was once used as a carriage to help take her to the ball. Now look on your right hand side, it's the other side of Agrabah! Isn't that exciting? Now here on your left hand side it is our giant patchwork quilt. This quilt is made up of 23 different dozen flowers, all of which are real. In fact, every plant and tree here in Storybook Land are real. Even those little itsy bitsy teeny tiny trees there in London Park. Our plants will only grow one inch per year. Thanks to the magic of Tinkerbell and a few of our gardeners that get to use the pixie dust, our plants will never, ever, ever have to grow up. Now as you pass the bridge on the left hand side, it'll be a little tiny tree next to an extremely tiny house. This is the home of Mr. Mole, though he never gets to spend any time there because he's always busy cleaning the nine chimneys of Toad Hall for his best friend Mr. Toad. Because Mr. Toad, well, he's always on some wild ride. Here on our left hand side are the three mills from the Silly Symphony of the Old Mill. The Mill Mill is made famous when it helps rescue our animals in the wicked storms. Straight ahead is the village of Geppetto and Pinocchio. It's in the front wood carving shop that Geppetto made Pinocchio. And with his wish upon a star, Pinocchio can now say, I'm a real boy. As we pass the bridge on our right hand side, it'll be the beachfront castle of Princess Ariel and Prince Eric. 
It's here that Princess Ariel transformed from a mermaid into a person and took her first steps along the sand. Before living on land, though, she lived under the sea, where life was so much better when it was wetter. In the kingdom of King Titan, with her best friends, Flounder and Sebastian, so we see today in our left hand side, just beyond the waterfall. Now, everyone, our story has come to an end, and I thank you all very much for joining me today. I'm going to ask that everybody on the left hand side, please make sure to keep your hands, arms, fingers, and elbows all the way inside the boat as you approach the dock. When the boat comes to a full and complete stop, I'm going to ask that everybody go ahead and please remain seated. On my count of three, we're all going to stand up together in the middle of the boat for balance purposes. I'd hate to see any of you fall into this lovely green water that you cannot see through. Again, I thank you all very much for joining me today, and I hope you have a very beautiful, magical, and memorable day here at Disneyland.